Hollywood faces dramatic twist in 2024 box office. It is no secret that 2023 was not a great year for movies and especially the box office, but experts are predicting 2024 will be even worse for Hollywood. Despite making somewhat of a comeback following the COVID-19 pandemic, which saw movie making and butts in cinema seats grind to a halt for almost two years, analysts are predicting a 10 to 15 percent downturn in revenue this year. There may even be, shock horror, no films that cracked the $1 billion mark in 2024 at the global box office. Only two films achieved that honor in 2023, the unexpected blockbusters of Barbie and the Super Mario Brothers. Movie The third highest gross film, which cracked $952 million and surprised many, was Oppenheimer a Christopher Nolan epic about the man who helped build the A-bomb dropped on Japan in World War II. In 2023, the domestic box office brought in a little under $9 billion, which is about a 21% jump from the year before but comes nowhere near the pre-pandemic times when clearing $10 billion and even getting close to $12 billion was standard. All figures are based on numbers from Box Office Mojo. Domestically, I'm expecting a little over $8 billion in 2024. This would mark an obvious decline from 2023's $9 billion, but it's largely attributable to a lighter release slate that lacks obvious event-level films," Sean Robbins, chief analyst at Box Office Pro and founder of the Box Office Theory, told Newsweek. Looking further ahead, the industry's most significant rebound yet now looks to hopefully occur in 2025. Among the experts forecasting a downturn this year is Daniel Laura, Senior VP of Content Strategy for Box Office Media, and he explained to Newsweek why the industry is preparing to navigate the choppy waters ahead. It has to do with output, he began, adding that the months-long writers and actors strikes affected the 2024 release schedule, ergo fewer films hitting cinemas and less money coming in via ticket sales. This is going to be the year Hollywood recalibrates as both the impact of the pandemic and strikes starts to settle down. Last year was also a bit of a shocker for the box office because the usual Hollywood behemoths such as Marvel and its parent company Disney underperformed, at least by their standards. In fact, Marvel recorded its worst opening weekends on record with The Marvels and Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania and for the first time since 2015. Disney was not the highest earning studio in the world. It also missed out on having a movie in the top three, which was something that had not happened to the Mouse House since 2011. The downturn in what was once a guaranteed blockbuster could be a result of the fact that audiences are fatigued with the familiar content studios are producing year in and year out. It's all well and good to argue that studios need to get more creative, but the movies coming out this year would have been planned years in advance and the Hollywood strikes made it impossible for the studios to respond flexibly to audiences changing tastes. They won't be able to do anything about it, so they're just going to subject us to the same output," Alexander Ross, a visiting researcher and fellow of Branford College at Yale, told Newsweek. There's been such a glut of everything, and they're just providing us with more action and banging more superheroes into one movie which is frustrating and just kind of annoying. Despite some movie fans' boredom with the creations churned out by the major Hollywood studios, that doesn't mean 2024 will not see some major blockbusters, they might just not come from the expected source, such as Marvel or Disney. It's because of this unexpected factor that many of the analysts Newsweek spoke to were reluctant to say with certainty that 2024 will have no $1 billion movies. At this point last year, I don't think any of us predicted Oppenheimer, to have the output of success it did," Laura said. What I'm saying is, when it comes to blockbusters, we see that audiences surprise us in ways that we'd never be able to be prepared for. But Laura can understand why some people are predicting $0 billion blockbusters in 2024, because the predictable blockbusters of yesteryear, such as a Marvel, Pixar, or DC film, aren't hitting like they used to. But that doesn't mean other films weren't stepping up to bat, there is a demand for a blockbuster, but the blockbuster tentpole of 2019 will not have the same impact as it did, he says. 
we saw that with Barbie. So, what are some of the movies that might crack the billion dollar ceiling this year? The standout candidates are the Deadpool and Joker sequels, though there's always a chance something surprises or overperforms, Robbins explained, while Laura also suggested Despicable Me 4 could have a shot. Deadpool 3 sees Ryan Reynolds return as the sardonic superhero, but what is making the movie a hotly antic iPad?